Greetings! And welcome to this, uh, guide, I guess? Technically, part of my series ongoing about, uh, for Mega Man Battle Network 3. I decided to take a little break from the story, uh, kind of gather some more chips for my, uh, folder here. And, uh, obviously I needed more bug frags as any. So, your first spot is going to be at the Yoka Inn. In the, uh, old TV comp. At least, I find it is a good spot to, like, grind for Zenny, chips, and, uh, bug frags. Mainly this configuration of them. I don't need to select chips. Oh. I thought he was landing on my row. Because every time these guys land, they're, they're completely harmless. The only thing you really need to worry about in this configuration is the Metor. Most of the time you're going to get a, get a terrible busting rank because... Okay. I got a terrible rank because I was just using my buster. But, if you can counter hit them, it's an easy 8 bug frags. And if you get a lock enemy and continuously run... Ah, <coughs> excuse me. And continuously run into them, then that's a really easy way of getting bug frags. Otherwise... Oh, I should have stayed up front. I totally missed that one. Oh well, whatever. Even if you don't exactly get good, like, chips and such, just running around in circles is a good way of also leveling up your styles. And of course, when you get to the, uh, like, easier enemies, it's also a good, uh, easy way of getting, like, just counter stars. The only downside to this area is the, um, obviously the sand, it slows you down. But again, the Quakers are useless here. Which makes it really easy to, like, constantly get bug frags off of. The only other few downsides is the Ratties. They're really annoying and unpredictable. Too early on that one. Either way, getting a single bug frag is better than nothing. Yeah, this is a little bit more like circle running around and usually does not involve fighting navvies for money. And it's a more consistent if you're not as good at uh, getting busting ranks to get bug frags. I mean, I could have handled that better, but. Whatever. But I'm still getting at least one bug frag from these f fights. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, right, yeah. This help here.
That was my bad. But still, bug frags. And me running around in this circle got me quite a few of them. Yeah, I don't like the rats. Another thing you could obviously find here are the Metar 3s. And most of the time when you get an S rank, you'll actually get Big Wave out of them. Big Wave is their unique chip, only given to like, team and like, uh, custom style. Ah, come on! I realize I'm sticking to this one place and describing it for quite some time. The, uh, the target that I'm looking for is, uh, being very elusive. Like I said, Big Wave. Their unique chip given to custom and, uh, team style. But only on rank S. No Navi chips. You have to actually want to hit them with a non-time freezing chip in order to get that those chips. There are several enemies that actually do have like drops like that, but only ha some of them only have the unique ones. Well, ultimately, I don't think he's going to show up, so, uh... Yeah. Uh, rare occasions... I say rare, but I've run into this Desert Man several times while running around in circles here. I'm trying to get his version 2 chip. Do you think he's ever going to drop it for me? No. He's easy to deal with, though. Okay, easy-ish.
So another method of farming, if you want to go the Navi route, is to constantly challenge Mr. Famous, because the punk chip never drops, so all he's ever going to drop is Zenny. Now we haven't actually fought in Mr. Famous yet in this. I don't th think I need to at the moment. So your next spot is going to be here in this vending machine, in the hospital area. Once. Yeah, obviously, the uh, N1, you get this far in the N1. So you want to also kind of just run around in circles here. Now, the only downside to this area is all the ice panels and the penguins. They don't have that much health, but... Generally, they're kind of a more annoying when it comes to, like, invulnerability frames, because if they're on an ice panel, then they're unable to be hit unless you hit them with their weakness, which is electricity. Like this setup. If I didn't have Sensor 1, for example, it would suck. Technically, they did not die in time freeze, so I got the, the Asterix chip. Why are you giving me all the only these? Of course, I'm Aqua style, so ice panels don't affect me. Come on! Okay, you can also crush them, which is interesting to know from a, like, busting perspective. So using Quake, or Quaker, or whatever that chip is called. It's actually beneficial, especially if they're, like, right in the front row. So the benefits of the vending machine is they enemies will definitely pay out more. The only downside is the bunnies. You're not not as likely to get bug frags here unless you know the timing on these enemies, but they're a lot harder to time than the other ones. Especially the slimies. Uh yes, let's go with this. I mean I could have waited until they were all in front of me, but But yeah, bigger payouts, better chips, technically, depending on what you were actually going for. Chips tend to drop more often for me here. Obviously, if I'm going to finish the, the battle in a very quick manner, then obviously I'm going to get more chips. So another benefit of being here is the uh, chip trader. Which, in the Legacy Collection at least, there's an achievement for using this thing 30 times. So, yeah, it's kind of worth it to be here to like, chunk all the uh, extra chips you get into this thing. Okay, I'm getting everything, but, you know... Uh, 
So directly after the N1, you can come to Hades Isle again and jack into this gargoyle. Now, you want to be kind of careful here because the environment here is not as uh, friendly. And if you don't get one of the poison battlefields, then you'll get the... Uh, Other one. And you want to finish this battle as soon as possible, obviously. These guys only pay out in Zenny. So they don't have a chip. So you're only going to get Zenny off of them. And they pay decently well, but not as much as, like, the vending machine would. But this is obviously Poison Panel Central. So it's good, kind of good to also bring, like, another field stage. But otherwise, this location also has a weapon power-up in case you wanted to boost your power attack to your uh, style. And you can also get to part of the internet from here, where a bug frag trader is existing. I haven't actually bought more of the chips, but you can get your um, specific version chi uh, giga chip from here. In Blue's case, it's uh, folder back. But you can also encounter viruses from here. So you get a little taste of the internet before you can actually go to the internet. Just be careful of the, uh, the killer eyes. Oh, come on. Which this place is also kind of decent for money too. Although you're further away from the chip trader, 